Emily! It's, is it Friday already again? <clears throat> ah, it's Friday again already. I just had to think about that. A uh, little unexpected uh, rain this morning, which kind of throws off the uh, completion of the deck project there in Hollowell. I'm gonna take a quick trip over to the Slaughterhouse project to uh, make sure that things are lining up properly for the concrete. Make a few phone calls. What can I say? I hope you, wherever in the world you are, you're having a great, well, a great Saturday at this point, right? Thanks for coming with me. Godzilla! Godzilla! They didn't pour a proper foundation wall when they built this addition. <clears throat> they just put a footing on the ground and put a little wall up. That's ridiculous. Oh, nice. Well, the homeowner notified me that this is what I was gonna find. So what that means is now there needs to be another concrete wall, full wall on the inside of this one, which was not part of the original plan, but whatever. I just had another shoe blowout. Actually, as I was climbing out of that foundation hole, I stepped into like a mud pocket and I submerged both of my feet in a slurry of, you know, foundation spoils. Uh, and then the safety pin, which was holding this in, popped off. But luckily I found the safety pin, so. You know, these are great sandals. It's just that this connection has broken. <laughs> Okay, that was a good trip. I learned a lot. <laughs> Actually, it's all it's all fine. It's all good. We're going to be uh, starting the concrete, insulated concrete forms here Monday morning. So I'm going to show up here Monday morning and bam, we will get we'll get that portion of the job underway. So, geez, after next week, I should have a foundation to build an addition on. That'll be great. It's gonna work out super. I should be working with Ivan, uh, you know, today and and right through probably Thursday of next week, and then the week after that, I'm on this. It's working out great. All of a sudden, <laughs> you know, timing is everything, and planning to make the timing work in your favor is critical. And um, I am always trying to be a better planner. I don't think I could ever be a really good planner. Uh, unless I just continually try to get better, which is where I'm at. I'm just trying, but I'm doing all right. Off to Hollowell. Today you can get a really good view of them because of the low tide. 
for almost a century, trees were cut in northern Maine and harvested and transported down the Kennebec River. So Moosehead Lake is like the de facto start of the Kennebec River and they could float trees almost from Moosehead Lake all the way down basically to the ocean where they could be picked up by ships and taken away. Um, typically they didn't really have to come much further than Gardner, but, but Gardner was a big export area because that's as far up as very large deep keeled ships could get. And on the way down the river, it became necessary to impound logs and hold them for a time until the ships were prepared to take delivery and remove the logs from the river. So in order to accommodate that, these crazy guys went out in the middle of the river and started building these big pylons up in these rows that they could install a boom between. So big chains and logs to create a barrier on the top of the water that would float up and down with the water that could hold the logs behind it, open up the upstream end, let the logs flow in. They get dammed in those, um, you know, between those islands that are boomed out and the logs can be held there. So that is the story, but if you ever uh, want to learn more about this, there's a great movie called Dead River Rough Cut and it's hard to find, but if you search, you will have a great sense of what that whole process was like. It's some old, old movies from when they were doing all that harvesting. It's really fascinating stuff. I mean, it was devastating for the river quality, water quality. It was like really bad, but um, the whole you know culture of what it was and, and what it enabled and, and where those trees went and how big the trees were. It's really fascinating. Anyway, that's the story. Okay, we're getting ready to wrap up a lot of this railing up here. You know, just nailing all these, screwing in all those balusters really fast, do a nice top on the rail. It's gonna look pretty sharp in a few minutes, a few hours.
Duck Norris, the big one? Yeah. Oh my god, he's huge. I mean, look at the she look at the breast on her. Sticking out in front of the neck. She's yeah, and, the, and the dark one is Princess Leia. 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 <laughs> and there's Daffodil. Daffodil's a large larger looking duck. Lang. She was Leia. But um Princess Leia is just um the 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 run. Do that. Uh, so you guys don't care for a weekend. It's summer. What do you care, right? <laughs> Except that you get to have your papa. Yeah. Yep, 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 the boys only. Andrea's off to art night. And we are going to the Sheepskit General. They have a summer solstice crisp, uh, Christmas party. Summer solstice ice cream social. Is that what it's called? Something like that. Where you get, I think you get free ice cream, but we also ordered two pizzas. Uh, it's going to be a madhouse there, I'm sure, but looking forward to it. Uh, my bus is taking them there in about 15 minutes. Bam, 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 bam. Summer vacation so far? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Right on. It is summertime, people. You know how I know? Because every summer, Zephyr gets blue hair. That's how I like. You no, I don't. <laughs> It's like you, the, the birds that molt their winter coat and your blue hair comes out in the summer. <laughs> So Milo has a summer job here at the Uncas Farm at Sheepskit General. Sheepskit General at Uncas Farm? I'm not sure. And there in fact are a volunteer opportunities here at the farm and the twins were looking, for, I think actually Andrea was looking for some volunteer opportunities for the twins. So we might actually, these guys might all be gone Sunday to the farm doing some farm work, picking strawberry blossoms.